Hello, this is Arun and Karthi. Welcome to our trip to Everest Base Camp. Let us share some photos and videos of this amazing trip with you and we hope you will enjoy it. Our trip began in Kerala and we flew to Nepal and then to Lhasa. Lhasa is the capital of Tibet Autonomous Region. On the first day, we visited Jokhang Temple and Sarai Monastery. Jokhang Temple is the spiritual heart of the city and the most sacred in Tibet. Its architecture features the Tibetan Buddhist style with cultural influences from China, India and Nepal. The golden roof offers splendid views of Barkhor, which is the market square, and it has a walkway for pilgrims to walk around the temple. After visiting Jokhang Temple, we went to Sarai Monastery. This is one of the three most important university monasteries in Tibet. It is a complex of structures including the Great Assembly Hall and three colleges. These colleges were established to train monks over a 20-year program of philosophical knowledge, which concludes with a Geshe degree. This is the Great Assembly Hall. Several religious rituals and rites take place here. Visitors to Sarai Monastery have the opportunity to witness monks' debating session in the debating courtyard. These debates are integral to the learning process in the college. Each monk has a debating partner. They use dramatic gestures to punctuate the debating session. Each time a new question is asked, that person strikes his outstretched left palm with his right palm. We spent some time in the monastery watching the debate and headed back to our hotel. The next day, we headed out with our tour group to visit Portela Palace. 3,700 meters above sea level, it is the highest palace in the world. Tibetan king Songsen Gampo built this palace in the 6th century. Eventually, monks came to rule Tibet and the palace was expanded and converted into the winter residence of the Lai Lama in 1645. The palace is divided into two sections, the Red Palace and the White Palace. White Palace serves as the administrative section and Red Palace as the spiritual section. Cameras are not allowed inside. We were out of breath walking up the stairs of Potla Palace due to altitude issues. Lhasa is 3660 meters above sea level. There are less oxygen molecules at this altitude and the air is less dense. We had to have some rest to climatize with this high altitude before our road trip to Everest Base Camp the next day. We began our road trip from Lhasa to Everest Base Camp with our tour guide. Independent travel is not allowed in Tibet, so all foreigners going to Tibet must have their travel arranged through a travel agency before arriving in Lhasa. The road to Everest Base Camp from Lhasa covers a distance of 613 kilometers. We took the smooth road along Yarlung Zangbo River to Shigatse. Yarlung Zangbo is the upper stream of Brahmaputra River. We stayed in Shigatse for that night and continued our journey to Tinguri on the next day. You can see small agricultural villages scattered around the mountain valleys. The flat roof houses are simple in structure and color. These rural Tibetan people are living a simple and natural lifestyle even in this harsh environment. They are not fighting it, they live peacefully and harmoniously. We could feel serenity everywhere. We now understood why people believe God lives in these mountain peaks. We passed through some of the high passes on this road. The road was really good and we were excited to go through these high passes even though we had visible signs of altitude sickness. 
The air was getting thinner and thinner. We continued the journey to Mount Everest National Nature Reserve. We could see the majestic Himalayan range at Gaula Pass. Our plan was to spend one night at Everest Base Camp and enjoy the incredible view of Mount Everest at sunset and sunrise. But we had to change our plans due to altitude sickness. So we decided to drive back to Lhasa overnight. The view of Mount Everest was breathtaking, not just because we were at the top of the world, but also the high altitude literally left us breathless. Tibet was a wonderland for us, the land of mountains. The whole experience was amazing. We got our oxygen fix from Lhasa and relaxed a bit there. Then we embarked for a train ride to enjoy the essence of Kinshai Tibet Railway. This railway line holds the record for the world's highest train route, reaching altitudes over 5000 meters and it traverses a region known for earthquakes, low temperatures and low atmospheric pressure. The rail route of Lhasa to Siyan covers a distance of 2,864 kilometers and it will take about 30 hours to reach Siyan. 550 kilometers of this track is made on frozen soil which is called permafrost. In the summer, the uppermost layer thaws and the ground becomes muddy. The engineers approached this problem by constructing elevated tracks and causeways over some of the most difficult terrain, while in other areas, portions of the track are passively cooled with ammonia-based heat exchangers. Train is nearing to Sinning Station. It was really interesting to see the officer in charge for the cabin was clearing all rubbish when the train stopped at main stations. Until now, we were passing through higher altitudes, mountains and less inhabited places. From here, the views are all going to be man-made structures. We started to see elevated bridges and big tunnels. The terrain is not flat. We were getting closer to Xi'an, the oldest surviving capital of ancient China, home to terracotta warriors, Xi'an. Let's explore more about this wonderful city in our next video. Thanks for watching.